Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Natasha and today we're going to get into my part two of retail therapy for the month of March in April. Um, I was just waiting on packages to arrive. Um, this haul is going to be mainly the stuff that I got from Sephora, which I didn't get a lot, and my empties for the two months. So let's just quickly get into what I got. Um, the first thing I got was very popular at the moment, and it is the Kostas uh, Bronzer. This is Moisturizing Baked Bronzer. I got my shade in dark, which is a little deep, but I wasn't sure if the medium was going to be deep enough, so I took my chances. But this is what the packaging looks like, and... This is what the product look like. So it's um, deep in shade, but it can diffuse out on your cheeks. I don't have it on right now. I forgot to put on bronzer and I don't have a brush with me at the moment. But that is what it looks like. And there is 0 0.21 ounces in this product. And it is a cleaner brand for Sephora, which I love. The only thing I do not like is the smell of this. I don't, I don't know. It just smells off, like like a plastic toy from the dollar store, or I don't know. The smell of it's off, but it doesn't linger on your face. Just smelling it right now. I just don't smell. Like, I would have liked more of a clean scent. But, whatever. Um, the next product I got was this Makeup Forever Large Foundation Brush. And I got this because a specific YouTuber that I watch. Her name is Amber. Um, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. It starts with P. Poshlock. I don't know. I'm sorry. Anyway, she talks about this foundation brush pretty often, so I was highly intrigued. I haven't used a brush like this in a very, very long time. So, but it's the Makeup Forever Large Foundation Brush. So I'm really curious to see how, um, if and how, you know, if I like that product. So the next thing I got from Sephora um, was another product that is pretty highly talked about and it's the Natasha Wash and Glow Loom palette. I wanted this and I also wanted this some citrus palette but that um sold out so I just got this one and I've been playing in it and I like it and it's on my cheeks now. Um this color can be intense but by the time you put this blush on top of it it diffuses like the color diffuses out a little bit more so I've been on that ever since everybody been talking about it all right and another item which is uh, yeah another item that I got from Sephora which was um, something that I had been wanting for a long time but I wasn't gonna get it for the original price and then I honestly wasn't going to get it at all until I mean I was gonna get it but then I ch talked myself out of it and, and Amber talked about it on her channel again so I was intrigued again and I got it and I was so mad because the moment that I got it then it went on a better sale on Natasha Jadona's website and then it went that reciprocated to Sephora's website right after the sale so I mean I still got it for a good price um I wouldn't have never paid the full price for this but all that talk to say I got the Natasha um, Denona Safari eyeshadow palette, and this is what she looks like. And I have it on my eyes now. I have um, mainly this blue color right here, and this color called Amara, and a little bit of this color. What is it? tamarind? Um, so that's all I played with so far, and just playing with those three colors. I would say that um, it's soft, 
this is soft formula, so there's a lot of kick up. So there's no going from the eyeshadow palette just straight to blending on your eye. Kind of have to do have to pat, kind of have to pat the color on your eyelids and then slightly blend it in. So there was a lot of building up to the color that you want. But I mean, I used it on this eye plug, and I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it at all. So that, and then I got um. 100 perk I forgot yeah I got a 100 perk uh, which is just the uh, blender solid cleanser I've never tried this before so I just thought it was a good 100 100 perk but that is all that I got from Sephora I didn't get much because I rather if it's something I don't know that's all I got this for. <laughs> so I wanted to mention some nail polishes that I got. Um, they're the Sally Hansen uh, Good Kind Pure Vegan Nail Polishes. So I got the colors in white tea, which is a sheer white color. And you have to fill this up to get an opaque white color. So that's one thing I don't like about that one specifically. And then this one's called Romantic Peach, which kind of comes on the nail white too. And then I got Pink Cardamom. And I got the colors on my nails. They're kind of chipping off because I just did one layer and it was like two days ago and I've done some cleaning and stuff. So it was just kind of just to get a feel of the colors, but... Um, those three I got. I wanted to get those because they are clean ingredients and I'm all about that jazz. So that was the end of my haul portion of the retail therapy. Now let's get into the empties real quick because my battery is like trying to say bye. All right, so I finished my Dollar Tree um, lemon peel. Crew Cleanup Cleansing Wipes. Finished another set of wipes. These are the Formula 10 06 Cleaning Wipes. These are in the Cucumber with Witch Hazel. Love those. Vagina. I finished the birthday gift that Sephora gave you last year. This is the Drunk Elephants Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. I do like this facial cream. <clears throat> finished up one of the essence slash princess mascaras i do like this i would repurchase this it's a wet formula so go in easy because there is an opportunity for it to be messy um i finished up my beauty bakery lollipop liner do like this i would repurchase this um very fine liner and the brand is a clean brand, clean ingredient brand. Finished up an old holiday tart um, lip gloss. And that was, it was, came in a holiday pack, so there's no repurchase in that specific shade. But the formula I like, I like the mintiness behind um, Tarte's lip glosses. Then I finished up. A Kels Eye Alert um, Energy Booster Eye Cream. I do like this. It has caffeine in it, so kind of awakens and gets rid of the puffiness of the eyes. I finished a deluxe sample of uh, Mary Kay's Pore Pen Minimizer. I like this, and of course, I would buy the regular, you know, the regular one of those. <laughs> And I finished um, a primer. This is Soap and Glory's primer. Uh, if it comes in this kind of packaging, I'm always going to cut it because there's so much product that's still left in there. And you got to get all your money's worth from me. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And I finished up a uh, perfume that came in as a sample from Sephora. This is the Marciano Toy 2. And the scent was cool. Not something personally that I would buy, but it was cool. And then 
This I'm going to declutter. This is an e.l.f. Um, lip exfoliator. I've had it for a very, very long time. I'm going to say <sighs> years. And I just, I'm going to repurchase this, but I'm going to repurchase this in one of the newer scents. I think like they have mint and rose and something else. So repurchase. All right, guys. So that was my resale therapy part two and my empties. Thank you for thank you for watching my video. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Stay for a while. Show your girls some love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.